the adoption of a 2030 agenda uh, heralds a new era of global solidarity for promoting prosperity, equal opportunity, and environmental uh, stewardship. Uh, for the first time ever, we have a transformative set of global goals agreed by all countries and that applies to every nation. The SDGs go to the heart of everybody's health and the heart of everybody's health care around the world and in Europe. And the fact is that when it comes to the provision of good health around the world, 2030 is really just around the corner. So if we don't start now, uh, we're not going to get there. And one of those common projects is to monitor and make the EU accountable for its policies on poverty, specifically and on inequality. So this is something we can really do together. So if you've got any interest in this at all, please come, please join. So we want to make sure that governments are held accountable for their commitments to gender equality, both in Europe and beyond. And it's really, really exciting to be part of such a broad coalition reaching across the grassroots activism and campaigners and lobbyists across Europe. Our strength, of course, to be part and our honour to be part of this coalition is to have a big experience and to work in almost all to the projects or to the other activities in almost all of the EU countries, but also in many, many neighbouring countries. And World Vision got involved in SDG Watch because we saw a need for other CSOs like us to come out of their policy silos and to actually work together in a more integrated way so that we could really properly monitor and implement the Sustainable Development Goals in EU internal and external action. As EB, we joined SDG Watch because for us it's very important also to work with other sectors than only the environmental uh, movement. The Agenda uh, 2030 for Sustainable Development is also a political agenda pushing for a paradigm shift and also for a new kind of governance that is better fit for purpose to achieve sustainability. Well, as a network representing sustainable development uh, organisations with a global outlook, uh, one of Concord's key priorities is to make a success of Agenda 2030. And so I think there's something very uh, potent um, about having uh, CSO representatives from the rights movement, the women's movement, anti-poverty movement, disability, uh, global NGOs, um, human rights, transparency organisations, all involved in one effort. So SDG Watch Europe is super important because we now have these high ambitions at the global level and now we really need to implement them and when I talk to people of the local authority in my town they don't even know the SDGs yet so that's why we need SDG Watch Europe we need all these civil society organizations to start working on the ground with the policymakers with the local communities we believe it's a unique example of coordination of organization coming together from very different sectors. Now, civil society organization monitoring of European policies is needed to ensure that these policies indeed serve the interest of the majority, the interest of the people and the planet, and not the interest of the few. So now that this miracle of the adoption of the SDG uh, has happened, the, the challenge is to have it implemented. And for that, we are we are decided not only to be a member of SDG Watch, but to be a very active member. We are active in SDG Watch Europe because we believe that to eradicate poverty and to stop environmental destruction, we need actually to end the level of inequality we have now. Strength 3 is about engaging civil society and citizens. That's actually quite important because the Agenda 2030 will be implemented only if uh, citizens and civil society know about the agenda and if they demand from politicians. Otherwise, we will not create the change we need. Now that Agenda 2030 has been adopted, the real work starts. Our challenge as European civil society is to make Agenda 2030 a reality, making sure that we reach all of the sustainable development goals and targets within Europe and globally. These goals and targets can't be achieved by governments alone, nor by international institutions such as the UN. They can only be fully achieved with active and broad-based civil society engagement. At a European level, organisations that join SDG Watch Europe will ensure that they can shape the new EU structures that emerge. As we begin to work together and with other stakeholders 
to ensure the implementation of the most ambitious and potentially transformative global agenda ever adopted by the international community.